moving ahead uh, olivia a uh, priority analysis of floating photovoltaic national standards okay i will share my presentation did you hear me uh, yes we can see your slides okay uh, uh, thank you for the opportunity. I'm Olivia from University of Indonesia. Now I will uh, present our paper and title Priority Analysis of Floating Photovoltaic National Standard in Indonesia with the AHP approach. Uh, this is the outline of uh, our presentation. And then uh, let's start, start with the introduction. The, uh, Indonesia is a tropical country, so that there are just renewable energy the potential in Indonesia is solar energy, which is uh, 207.8 gigawatt, but currently the utilization of solar energy is only 0.07%, uh, which is 154.5 megawatt peak. This is the Indonesia. And in line with the uh, current development of technology, there are five solar power plant applications. First, PV power plant that is in, uh, on the ground. Second is a rooftop PV power plant. Third is a PV power plant of on canal. Or fourth is offshore PV power plant. And the last is floating PV power plant or FVP. Based on data, Indonesia has more than 192 dams, lakes, and reservoirs. So it has a fairly high potential, which can be utilized as an FVP power plant. Uh, the development of floating photovoltaic technology is not accompanied by standard development because currently there are no specific uh, stand, international standard for floating photovoltaic. Standardization related to PPP uh, 4 plan is to be formulated because uh, there are many challenges in, in its implementation, such as the uncertainty of its impact and environment and the uh, complexity in the design and operation of floating photovoltaic on water. When developing Indonesia national standard, priorities need to be met so it can uh, be applied effectively according to national need. This paper aims to provide recommendation on the priority needs on potential standard related to uh, uh, FVV power plant to support the floating solar power uh, energy development program in Indonesia. FPP power plant is a solar power plant that is installed above the water surface, such as reservoir ponds, lakes, sand and dams, and etc. Uh, working si system of FPP power plant is the same as that uh, of the ground the solar power plant. The only difference being the layout, uh, design of the FPP module and inverter installed in the floating component structure. Uh, this table describes the main component description on the FPP power pen from various literary source. Um, FPP power pen has attracted worldwide in recent years. Uh, besides, because it doesn't not uh, doesn't require land, it produces a higher efficiency compared to solar power pen uh, land base. The first uh, FPP power pen was built in Japan 2007. But the first FPP uh, power pen operating commercially was built in California in 2008. Indonesia is currently building the first FPV that will operate commercially in Cirata Reservoir, West Java. This is the largest FPV in ASEAN uh, with a capacity of 140 megawatt uh, and an area of 270 hectares, uh, which is target to operate commercially in November 2022. This is the list of reservoirs are planned uh, for the FPV in Indonesia. Uh, according to World Bank research, currently there are no specific international standards related to FPP uh, power system. However, uh, the FPP power plant is generally the same as the uh, ground mount uh, solar power plant. So, several international standards uh, for ground mount uh, solar uh, power plant can be applied to FPP, which is summarized in this table. Uh, in Indonesia, standard uh, that apply nationally is the Indonesia uh, National Standard or SNI. SNI is ratified by National Standardization Agency or BSN. SNI uh, formulated according to market needs and can be proposed uh, by all parties. Uh, the purpose of SNI to ensure quality, production efficiency, and protection of consumer, producer, and the environment. 
Uh, this study used the analytical hierarchy process (AHP) approach because it is one of the decision-making methods that can solve uh, complex problem in a hierarchy. Uh, the research was carried out uh, through performance stage, of first uh, literature study for criteria identification, uh, and second stage is to identify the alternative attribute by SWOT analysis. The third stage is compiling the AHP structure, uh, which consists objective, uh, for criteria, and the alternative. Uh, the next stage uh, is weighting the criteria and alternative using various comparison metric that has been filled by the respondent. Uh, for processing data, we use uh, expert choice V11 software and uh, respondent consists of five uh, experts representing stakeholders from government, producer, uh, and researchers expert. The result from the literature review uh, this paper identified that quality assurance, energy efficiency, and protection for consumer, producer, communities, and environment are three main criteria attributes that influence uh, the purpose of formulating national standard. Uh, the result of a SWOT analysis uh, for, of the implementation of PV in Indonesia are as follow, and based on the weakness and threat uh, of the SWOT metric, the standard needed for the implementation of FPV power plan uh, in Indonesia can be identified as 9 point B. Uh, below. Uh, this will be the alternative attribute in the AHP structure. Uh, the AHP structure is shown in this figure. Uh, level one is the goal. Level two, so the criteria uh, from the research uh, uh, from chapter 4.1, and the level three is alternative decision from chapter 4.2 to, to determine uh, the priority needs of uh, national standard FEP need, uh, that need to be formulated. Uh, based on the result, the analysis uh, using expert choice, it was found the, the order criteria as this picture. Uh, quality assurance is the most important determining criterion. We saw that uh, it is the main thing uh, that needs to be considered in formulating national standard for FPV. Uh, the second order is a protection for consumer, uh, producer, society, and environment, and followed uh, by efficiency criteria. With the inconsistency value obtained at 0.08, uh, so the result is consistent. And this is the result uh, of calculating the alternative uh, attribute uh, from our expert uh, standard-related uh, feasibility study in the first place and uh, uh, standard-related system design in the second place, and the third place is standard-related uh, component quality. If the inconsistency of value uh, is 0 0.09, uh, so the result is consistent too. This is the conclusion. Uh, the, res uh, the result of this paper are that the feasibility study of the of FPP was the standard become uh, the first priority to be formulated because it had a highest weight value, uh, followed by the design system standard uh, and the quality standard of the main component with a score of 0 0.150. This condition uh, so the importance of the government to develop a standard guideline for the feasibility study uh, of uh, FPP in Indonesia so that it will be the reference uh, in the preparation national development feasibility study uh, which include any aspect and aspect, uh, financial aspect, socioeconomic aspect, and risk aspect. Uh, by setting priorities, it doesn't mean that only first to third uh, priorities need to be formulated, but that other standards still need to be formulated gradually. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Oliver, for your very good presentation. And it's a very innovative work uh, you have discussed. I would like the audience if anyone question for this presentation. Uh, Ma'am, I want to ask a question. Yes. Ma'am, as you mentioned on the attributes, in that one of the thing is water environment. Uh, may I know if you have worked on anything related to water use efficiency? Uh, pardon, I... I is is you... any, anything you have adopted water use efficiency of estimation? Uh... Uh, water uh, water efficiency for yes. 
Yes, ma'am. Because actually, recently I have submitted one proposal for DST. Okay. So in that, we were having an I, I was doing an mathematical modeling for estimating a water efficiency for an for one application in the lake machines. So, is can we relate this to some hydroelectric power plant of the utilization of water or not? Uh, I personally think, Doctor uh, Ma'am yes. Lakshmi, because she is talking about the floating uh, photovoltaic. Yes. Yes, uh, yes. I think I think is completely different with the hydroelectric uh, which you are going to estimate. Yes. I, yes, sir. It yeah. was actually mentioned in the attribute, sir. Extra yes. attribute yes, page, yes. Uh, slide eleven. So there actually I was asking. And, uh, because that's what she is going to discuss the attributes of the um, uh, impacts, like the. Uh, from the water would be have a corrosion impacts on the floating yeah. uh, photovoltaics yeah. and environmental effects. That's what I think she is trying to yes, explain. Yes, yes, it's Am correct. I right, Olavia? Yes, yes, yes. I uh, think yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.